Hey everyone, it's Code Dactyl here with another video. Um, in our previous video, we talked about domain name, IP networking, and whatnot. So definitely give that video a look. Um, we are using XAMPP uh, Control Panel, um, which you can type in Google and uh, it'll be ApacheFriends.org. And go ahead and download and install that. So let's just assume that you already know how to network and all this other stuff. Um, if you don't, definitely check out the other video. So first things first is we have our Apache services running now. So um, if we you know type in our local IP, this will pop up. And you definitely want to change that. You don't want to keep that forever. So I'm pretty sure you have like a website that you already scripted or forms that you're ready to install or a uh, WordPress. All you gotta do is hit the explorer and go to your uh, HT docs and we have to get rid of this so it's either you know make a backup of it um, I'll just make a backup of it or delete it so drag and drop that in and now if we type in the IP address um, of our local machine or you know once again if you checked out the previous video of domain name and DNS management um, um, you would know how to forward your domain name. So my domain name is, you know, teaminfection.com, which I manually ported that in. So, but whatever, both the same, um, both being the same ported over. So um, nothing comes up. Um, that means, you know, you got to drag and drop your, you know, your WordPress files, your forum files. Um, for this case, an example, I don't have either of those. Um, but I do know how to code HTML and PHP. So that's something that you should definitely know how to. Um, I'm not going to be telling you how to code, teaching you how to code uh, basic HTML, but for the sake of the video, I'm just going to create a HTML um, index. So hello world, and we're going to close that with the title. Um, we definitely want a header, so header one. This is a tutorial vid yo by code actual. And we're going to close the header with h1. And uh, you know what? We also want to center it too. I always like centering my um, my pages. It looks better that way. And go ahead and hit save. And now every time I go towards my domain name or you know the um, the local IP address, uh, we'll go ahead and just type in the domain name, um, teaminfection.com. This will pop up. So this is a tutorial video by Codexual. So this is the web page. Just pretend that this is your business web page, and it's super freaking fancy. Um, and we can click on a whole bunch of other things or whatever how your site is. Um, if you like cats. Uh, or dogs or chocolate I, I I don't care of what your website is of how you coded it but let's just pretend that this is a super freaking awesome with graphics and photos everywhere and whatnot so um when you just barely installed your XAMPP you want to make sure you know you have your MySQL services running so if you were to drag and drop all the files in and it's WordPress you're definitely going to be needing your MySQL um, services running so go ahead and hit start and then what you want to do is go hit admin then it'll take you towards your local host PHP my admin so um, right here where it says uh, give me one moment. Okay, so um, I got that fixed. What you want to do is um, that wouldn't show up for you, but it did for me. Um, I did a little something here on my end, but since we're in our uh, PHP my admin, um, so once again, you want to go towards your um, admin, uh, which is the MySQL, then admin, then it'll bring up localhost and slash PHP my admin. Um, we definitely want to change the password because um, right now it doesn't have any password whatsoever on the machine it's just it doesn't have a password so what we want to do is go to the SQL hit that uh, tab button 
and we want to copy and paste this command and I will leave this um, command here in the description for you um, so where it says your underscore root underscore password that's where you want to put the password in so I'm just gonna put capital pass one two three four um, you don't want that to be the password you want it to be um, stronger than that and go ahead and hit go and now that's the password so next thing is we're gonna have to go back towards our um, our folder so go ahead and hit the Explorer then go where it says PHP or excuse me PHP my admin then it will say um, config.ink.php so you're gonna edit that with a notepad and where it says on line 21 um, this will be blanked out that will be blanked out um, I previously had the password in uh, but for you it's gonna be blanked out and right in there that's where you want to type in the password of what you just typed in so it's gonna be a uh, pass one two three four go ahead and hit and hit save and you can close out of that you can also close out of that um, hit start stop and hit start again and now um, it took on the new setting and everything is good so if we were to let's close out of all this stuff if we were to type in the admin or hit the admin it will take us back to this page so we're good there um, we definitely wanted to update that password because without a password and if someone were to root or deface or hack your server um, that would be a big 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 problem so you definitely want to change that password as well um, so that's for the basic of setting up your PHP and MySQL. Um, it's very simple to do. Um, we also want to talk about um, FTP, uh, FileZilla. So right here, what you want to do is um, hit on Start. And we want to go towards our Explorer. And let's say for this case, an example, we just want them to go to a specific folder, um, which is going to be where all the um, web files are going to be stored at. So it's going to be into the HT docs. So what you want to do is uh, hit admin on the FileZilla. Uh, go ahead and hit OK. Then what you want to do is look for, um, I believe it's this icon. Yes, it is. OK, so it's that one person icon. Then you're going to hit add. Then it's going to be the username. So for me, it's going to be Codextual. Um, I'm going to put that as my username. I'm going to hit enter. And I want to enable a password. So this can be any password that you want. Um, I'm just putting in pass one, two, three, four. And um, we're going to go ahead and specify the folder that we want it to be in. Um, so it's going to be clicking on add then into your C drive uh, and where the XAMPP is and to the HT docs. So I don't want him having access to anything else on the computer. I just want him to have access towards the HT docs where the web files are at. And um, read means they're able to read the file. They can download it. Write means they're able to rewrite everything. Uh, delete can delete and append. Um, append. So if you want them to have full access, just make sure that you have um, you check out all of this. And uh, directories is where he can enable or uh, forgive me, not enable, but he can create new directories. So we're gonna go ahead and you know hit add right there. Or excuse me, um, we don't have to hit add. All that's done. What we're gonna do is hit OK. And nope, nope, nope. We'll go ahead and remove that. I accidentally did that. And now we're gonna go ahead OK. So. Now, just as long as you did all that, um, the FTP server is running, and you're going to have to port forward that to port 21, and this port as well, 14.14.7. So, um, again, port forward those two ports. Um, never port forward the 3306, unless if you know what you're doing.
Um, I'm not going to get into that. Um, maybe in a different video, but I'm not going to get into the 3306. That's your MySQL port. So, um, if you don't have an FTP program to file transfer things, that's okay. You can file transfer with uh, Windows um, with, with with this. So all you got to do is, you know, open up a um, file browser and just type in this. So it can be H or FTP colon slash slash the IP of the server or the domain name. So we'll go ahead and type in the domain name teaminfection.com and now it's going to ask for the username and password. So username was codexual and the password was pass one oops pass one two three four and we're going to go ahead and hit enter and now we have access towards that web's um, web server so it's right here uh, we'll go ahead and close out of this one it opened up two of them so now we have access to it so we can um, definitely change out the files um, delete things copy them all you gotta do is just drag and drop towards your desktop um, that's it it's that simple um, your file explorer is also a FTP program which is awesome so um, I'm gonna go ahead and close out of that so those are the three functions of how to set up your web server fairly simple easy to do if you guys have any questions give me a, um, a thumbs up smash that like button please um, subscribe to the channel that definitely helps out as well um, yeah if you guys have any questions every Saturday I will upload a video um, so if you guys have questions definitely um, visit the link down below in the description where you can ask the questions I'll submit a uh, video every Saturday y'all take care and you know yeah